Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to episode 13 of our Factorio Mini Death World series. In this episode, hopefully we get towards our iron up here. Getting kind of close. A little bit warm out here. I think what I'm going to do... We're going to sneak a turret inside. It's a little bit more undefended than I normally would do, but... I'll push the nest back a little bit this way. I'll just uh, casually stand out here. Mm -hmm. Don't mind me. Finally busting out the grenades. Now that the colony is not super massive. Oh, it's hot. A little bit warm out here. Okay, that should be good. Mm -hmm. So we cleared that side off completely. We still gotta go north though. Um, probably add some turrets this way. Maybe one actually facing up. Hello. One facing up. I guess we have all those facing up as well. We're going to go back to the factory. Mining productivity is finished. Uh, what do we want next? Uh, advanced oil is probably not a bad one to do, but we don't have blue science yet, so we cannot do that. Uh, refined flammables might be good. Do we have military science automated? I don't think so. So let's get these modules out of the way. Give me those modules. Circuits are good as well. Circuits are used for our oil setup, so it's a good start. Let's throw my pistola on the ground. Because we need a few more flamethrower turrets and we should be able to get north. Maybe 10? Give or take 10. And that should get us there. Drinking coffee today. Delicious coffee. I feel like that's the only thing I've been drinking recently. Coffee, coffee, and more coffee. And some more coffee. I think it's a, a new baby problem. Uh, possibly start building red chips as well. That might be something we might want to start working on. We could probably do it right there. Accumulating and hoarding the red chips. Not a bad thing to start getting. Um, I wonder if I push this wall north a little bit more and build it up there. That's where these flamethrowers are. That's where we will have our red chip production. Our green chip is incredibly sad. That is a sad, sad green chip situation. But still the priority remains getting that extra iron. That is our priority. It's pretty, uh, it gets hit pretty hard over here actually. Surprisingly. No, it is still on fire, I guess. What are we at right now for kills? We're at 10 minutes, so we're actually killing quite a few a minute. We have 200 a minute uh, of small spitters, 66 medium biters, 44, almost 45 small biters, and uh, 12 medium spitters. So that's a pretty, pretty substantial amount for only a few hours in a playthrough to be uh, keeping a steady amount of that going on. So do need these walls. I can dump the iron into this line here. There you go. So I think that's the first thing we do is we push that up. While I'm doing that, I'm going to craft a couple more of these. A couple more long arm inserters. Grab some inserters quickly. Yeah, we do not have military science yet automated properly. Could do that and get a few more. That's almost 100. If we have 100, then we can... Uh, and do some damage upgrades. 
So, it's 100 100, and then we're just waiting on the ammo. So, that actually would work. We'll just put it in the chest for now. Maybe even give it a faster building. So, that will give us exactly 100. That is decent. Decent, decent, decent. A few more of these and start handcrafting some of these guys for a moment. You start expanding the base. The base is very small. Very tiny factory. Maybe even some fast inserters here. Got a lazy bastard way of crafting. For those who don't know, this is the achievement where you only handcraft a certain amount of items. This is actually how you do it. You just place assemblers down and do the crafting for you. Instead of you doing the crafting, you just dump an assembler on the ground, do that, and then go right back to it. Okay, so, walls. Pushing our base up. Perfect. We shall save those very important trees. Very important. VIP trees. It's gonna be a pain in the butt. Unless you get a nice system like this going. Doop, 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 doop. Grab it. Nice system for picking up the walls. It always gets really annoying really fast. Pre bots, anyways. Normally I wouldn't even pick up the walls, but I don't have enough still for what we want to do. Perfect. Okay, that goes there. This goes here, this goes here, this goes here. You go here. It's actually like a proper looking defensive line now. As opposed to before where it was a little uh, little lopsided looking. I can rip out these guys. Do, do, do. Turrets take a long time to pick up. Oh, I guess we don't need these turrets either anymore. Kind of facing the wrong direction there. Flashy, flashy furnaces can leave in a minute here too. I need to be careful where that oil line I just disconnected went to though. So, we have an oil line right here. That goes to right here. I think this is the main oil line we just disconnected. For the whole factory. Doop, 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 doop. I don't think I need all this space here. This is the world's longest factory. So I think we need to do that. Seems the majority of the attacks are over there, not where we're placing it here, but we'll give them a couple more. You never know. Give you some more walls. Okay, perfect. So now these all come out, and we're going to start making uh, red chips right here. Hello, furnaces. Hello, furnaces. I probably need to up our green chip production as well, so let's move two of these to green chips. Make a couple more of these. They're going to go to copper cable. We have all this copper right here. And by all this copper, I mean well, there's a little bit of copper right here. So we need to pull an iron line. So you're going to be green chips right here. These are going to be copper. Copper cable. That goes there. 
one right there, and this is gonna grab in iron. And offload the chip long. Uh, doesn't quite work with this flamethrower right there. So we're gonna relocate you. Push it over a smidgen. Then we need to find an iron line. Looks like we have an iron line right here I can probably pull it from. We have our splitter. We have a couple of undergrounds. So we're gonna do an underground to like such. That doesn't quite work like that. So you go there. Underground goes to here. The splitter goes like that. I think we keep it down here. Something like that. And then we need this line to leave. So we do that. Uh, then we do that. Then this line can wiggle its way through. Wiggle it. One more underground here. I doubt this iron will be able to keep up, but we'll see. Give me that. Give you that. We do have another underground. It can come here. And we'll go down and across for now. Okay. Step one. Step two is we belt copper cable, which is considered a crime amongst a lot of communities, but that's okay. We're okay with crimes against uh, the community. <laughs> Got a few more of these. Da -da -da. I need some iron plates. I'm pretty confident none of this will work efficiently yet, but we just want it started. Once it's kind of started, we can uh, work with that. At least we'll be accumulating a couple of chips. Since they are so slow. So slow. And then we are going to offload them long. And go up with them. These will all be going into a chest for now. Circuit. Oh, we actually finished all that tech pretty fast. That's decent. Decent, decent, decent. Uh, I don't really care about ammo too much anymore. I think we just do these techs for now. That should be okay. So you go there, and then we're going to have plastic on this line. So we do already have the plastic. So of course everybody's waiting on plastic there. Uh, I might need one or two more underground, so we'll grab a couple more of those before we head out. Green chips is looking okay. It's not great. It's okay. Should do the trick. All the biters are still trying to kill me. Like there's a lot of attacks forming up. There's an attack there, a little baby attack there. So we we have three attacks right now spooling up. We have one, two, three. Probably another one over there too, but I can't see it. I'm gonna grab this plastic line. We will need the sulfur later, but for now, we do not. Let's gonna do this. So it's actually a fourth attack, so one, two, three, four attacks. That's kind of a small one, although the uh, flamethrower turrets are now taking damage. So we do need to be uh, careful about that. So there's another attack right there forming up. Why are you guys so mad at me? What did I ever do to you guys? What did I ever do? Okay, this goes here. You're like, well, sir. You're kind of trashing the planet. Look at that maze. It's beautiful. <laughs> that 
Okay, so we have the plastic now here. Give them some fast inserters. Like that. And that gives me red chips. So red chips are part of our next tech. So we need red chips, engines, and sulfur uh, for our blue science. Blue science. Need some assemblers here. And how many flamethrowers do I have on me? I have eight flamethrower turrets on me right now. Is that enough to hit that iron? I don't know. A couple more. It should get us really close. These engines are looking okay. It's a pretty nice chest of engines right now. The setup is absolutely atrocious. Because I can't get this out. I'll probably end up moving the steel line, actually. It's a steel line. Still needs to go with the bullets, though. That's a copper line. Copper? What is it? No, it's steel. Steel comes down. How does this get copper? Just It just doesn't. That's how we get copper. How do you get your copper? We, uh, we just don't. I didn't realize I was hand-fed. So there's not much military science because of how that was set up. Oops. Doesn't really even get much steel, either. There you go. Okay. Don't say I never gave you nothing. So red chips are accumulating, which is half the fun right there. I grab a little bit more steel, make some more assemblers here, too, before I run away. I'll run away. Steel is looking bad. Very, very bad. Power is great. It's a good amount of engines though right now. Which is a slow item. Slow, slow, slow. So we'll do a little bit of repairing here for a moment's time. Fighters are kinda kinda testing the defenses. Poking and prodding. Seems most of the walls are okay. I don't really want to repair walls, to be totally honest with you. 300. 300. Uh, I have some trees. We haven't refueled our furnaces in a little bit, it feels like. So maybe do a quick refueling. Make sure the factory doesn't die while I run away. Dump some of these guys, too, because walls are kind of important for us. Kind of keep us in the game. Keep us in the game. Dump some of those there. It's actually taking damage. The furnace is there. I think we will be okay if I can get these furnaces working. So just a little bit more iron, and I think we'd be okay down here. But currently, our current iron node is almost fully utilized. There's a little bit left, but. Not much to pull out of that. Grab some of these pipes. We have quite a few flamethrower turrets now. I need my uh, auto run button to run to the other side of the factory. Red chips are 100 red chips. That's nice to see. 100. That turret's getting hit pretty hard. I do think this is more repairing than I normally do in a playthrough. I feel like I don't normally end up repairing this much. So I am being a little more challenged here. It took, it took a lot of damage. Almost lost the pipes. The barrage of spitters there. Takes a minute for the flamethrower turret to spool up and get that first hit on. Once it gets it, it's great, but it needs to get the hit on first. Pipe down here, almost dead as well. This one right here on a, a sliver of hit points left. Good time to kind of run back up. How much of blue science do we actually need before we get the bots up and running? That's the real question. 
We don't care about logistic spots. We want these. So we need 75, 50, 125, uh, 225, uh, 300, and 400. So we need 400 blue science. So that's 1,200 red chips. 1,200 red chips and 800 engines, and we are good to go. We already have our 100 red chips, so we're, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. If you want to look at it like that. A low wall. Do, do, do. Half chops the tree down. Okay. Bring our trusty belt up. There's a lot of uh, flamethrower turrets here. One too many, I think. We don't need this many here anymore. Do, do, do. So uh, this isn't even connected to anything. So we need some facing both directions. So we have you facing that direction. You here. I'm going to remove this guy. We're going to go that way. So you're facing the coal patch. You here. If I can pick it up. Even that's probably too close, but we'll leave that for now. There's like 50,000 turrets right here. The reason why we didn't push more is because we ran out of uh, walls. So I think we'll leave the top one there. Because this is a push. Oh, wow. How many turrets I built? <laughs> What's going on? What is going on? Uh... You can go there, I guess. I'm not sure how this pipe system works. A little sketchy to have it right in the, not in the middle. So we'll do this instead and remove these. When the spitter hits this, it's gonna kill that corner pipe anyway, so no point really having that there. You come here. All these pipes, all these uh, flamethrower turrets can move. Same with this here. We're not building like a maniac anymore, so we can kind of clean it up a bit. Do, 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 do. Wasting all that oil, but that's okay. So what I need to do is make a as big a wall as possible here. Without dying. Can fix a little bit of it. And I can bring our pipe up. Get him. One eternity later. <laughs> this is why we uh, got to use red oil or you red ammo or you uh, don't shoot the bugs anymore. That's why we gravitated away from flamethrower turrets. That was case in point. Let's do that. So I do need to clear out on that side quite a bit. Keep kind of pushing the wall forward here. As much as possible. There's no oil. I just lost the pipe corner already. 
Might disconnect it somewhere. Hmm. Why are we not getting oil here? Just running out. I think we're just running out of oil. So we do have oil in the pipe here, just not enough. Not enough. Insufficient Vespane gas. It's not a common problem, actually. We've been using so much oil that we're actually kind of running out of the oil now. So what we're going to do is we're going to dump this right there. It's going to force these to have fuel. Oh. Unless we lost the pipe somewhere else. I need to really figure out what's going on. That's kind of bad. Mm, that's very bad. I feel like we lost the pipe somewhere. Something has gone very wrong, ladies and gentlemen. So we have pipe here, pipe here, pipe here, pipe here. Crude here, crude here, crude here. Crude here, and then it kind of stops for some reason. Right here. So it's just a plumbing mistake. A plumbing mistake cost us quite a few flamethrower turrets. That'll set us back a minute or five or 20. Ow. Good on you, biters. We only got like two of the nests out, too. Ouch. Can't always win. I knew something was very wrong when we weren't seeing any oil. Okay, we're back in business here. We do have our walls already set up, and that was kind of half the problem. But I guess I still have 18 of these left. Just 18. I meant to press Q on that, and I clearly did not. That's a lot of turrets dead. <laughs> uh, we have made a mistake. Do, 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 do. And now it is getting spicy. We are outposting again. I think we'll stop the episode there. Until next we meet, this is Yamakara. Killing biters since 2022. Ciao for now.